Okay, good evening, everybody. This is Kriya Channeling, and today is June 21st, 2020. Today is uh, a lot of things happening astrologically. Um, I think we just had a we just had a, a new moon, and then there's going to be and and I think the the moon the new moon eclipse is also passed already by this time of the day. However, the next um, I would say day or two, it, it's still very strong energies astrologically. <clears throat> There's a lot of alignments and things happening in the background. So I guess that's why I was guided to pick today to have a channeling of Kriya. So I just want to have a brief uh, description of who Kriya is for those who are here first time or uh, listening to this the first time. Kriya is an um, angelic entity that is from the, the Cryon So group. So if you haven't heard of Cryon, then um, Cryon is a, a helper um, spirit that helps to tune the magnetic grid um, of a, a planet. So each time when there is a change in the energies of the planet, then um, Cryon which, and, and all the, um, the, the entities that work with Cryon would show up for that planet and then change the, the magnetic uh, grid and all the energetic grid of the planet in order to support the, the, the beings that live on that planet. So right now, Earth is going through a, um, a lot of energetic adjustments. So that's why Cryon has been very active, um, actually has been very active for the, the last 20, 30 years. And a career came to me, um, I think probably about two, two and a half years ago and asked me to start channeling. Yeah, uh, Kriya. So this is me doing um, my due diligence to honor my um, agreement with Kriya. So the way this channeling goes is I'm just going to take everybody into a short meditation just to get myself and also to get um, everybody ready for the channeling and then Whenever I feel the energies of um, Kriya coming through me, that's when the, the channeling actually starts. And then after the, the channeling, um, no idea how long it's going to be. It will be as long as it needed to be. And then after that, there'll be a, um, a short question and answer period. And then that's the, the whole channeling session. So let's begin. Let's begin by doing a short meditation. So all of you, please start to make sure that you are sitting or if you prefer to lie down, then lie down in a comfortable um, location. Some position that will not distract you from any discomfort or, or distraction. So just as you are sitting more comfortable or lying more comfortably, start to follow the rhythm of your own breath. So breathe in easily and effortlessly and then breathe out. Just follow the rhythm of your own breath. And after a couple of times of breathing in and breathing out easily and effortlessly, start to have the intention to elongate your breath, meaning to really take your time to breathe in. And when you can breathe in no more, then take your time to breathe out. And try to stretch your breathing in and breathing out so that it gets to at least about a five count breathing in and five count 
on breathing out. By elongating your breath, you're actually starting to trigger your own relaxation response. And also to start to move away from the fight or flight response. No matter how your day has been, right now it's time to just sit back and relax and just clear your mind. No need to think of anything. And if any thoughts come into your mind, then just allow it. Allow it to come in and allow it to leave when it is ready to leave. Just try not to chase the thoughts. Just allow it to come in and leave, just like breathing in and breathing out. And start to set the intention to shift your focus from your head into your heart. You can do that by just imagining that you are stepping inside an energetic elevator. So just walk into this elevator that is at the top of your body. And just imagine that there is a button with the shape of a heart on it. And you press that button and just allow this energetic elevator to take you from the top of your head all the way down to your heart level. And this will assist you to shift away from thinking too much, from being in your head into being in your heart. You may find that it's a lot more quiet here. And just imagine that you can actually breathe from your heart. Just continue to breathe in through your heart. and feel your heart expanding. Focus on unconditional love in your heart and know that you are loved very much. You are loved by Mother Earth. Feel the energy of Mother Earth coming to you. Mother Earth is always trying to communicate with you. Mother Earth knows where each of her children is. as you walk on her ground, she sends your energy. She knows who you are by your energy signature.
and she is sending you energy. Not just energy to support you, but also energy to assist you. Assist you in this transition, this big transition that Earth is going through right now. Mother Earth has already made that transition herself, and she is fully holding all the organic codes that is necessary to live at a higher level, at the fifth dimension and beyond level. And every time she sends energy to you, she sends you all the codes that will start to activate you and assist you to also follow her and join her in moving into this fifth dimension, the golden age of earth. How beautiful. The co-creation between Mother Earth and the human collective and each and every person and entity that is on Earth right now. You may not believe me, you may not think that that is the case because right now, if you look outside, if you look at the world, it may seem scary, but it's only an illusion. Because if you look within, if you are in tune with Mother Earth, you will understand this one thing, is that Mother Earth does not allow all these illusions to last much longer. Mother Earth has already moved and shifted her energy and she loves us. She loves all her children so much that she's doing all that she can to assist us, to activate us so that we can follow, we can follow her to shift into a much more dynamic, magnificent, co-creative energies. However, Mother Earth still allow us to make that choice ourselves, to follow her or not. That is still our choice to make. However, she is doing all she can to assist us to make that shift, to really see and feel the opportunities that's coming and to guide us and to provide for us everything that we need in order to make this transition as easily as possible. And that is the promise of Mother Earth. Mother Earth has co-created with a lot of helpers from different dimensions to assist humanity to make this change as easy as possible. However, it is still up to each and every one of us to make that choice, to take that step. Because Mother Earth herself is sovereign. She knows who she is. She knows what she wants. She remembers. She remembers that she is 
a part of the ultimate creator. And she remembered that she came into being so that she can support all the other entities to use her, to use earth as a playground so that they can explore consciousness in co-creation with her. And it is a co-creation because when Mother Earth works with us, everything seems to be easier. Everything just goes much more smoothly. And Mother Earth has been holding back to allow us to have a very colorful experience up until recently. And now she has already taken that turn and there is no looking back. She has already made that transition and she is leading all of us to make the transition with her as well. And if we should refuse to make that transition, then she still loves us and supports us, but not on Mother Earth. Those who do not wish to follow Mother Earth into the fifth dimension and beyond will be supported to shift and manifest into a different playground. While those who have made the choice to transition with Mother Earth will be taken with her into the new dimension and enjoy the golden age of earth, the golden age of humanity. Oh, there is so much more that is coming. It's so beautiful. And you can feel that beauty within. So I invite all of you to connect with Mother Earth more. Have an intention whenever you wake up or whenever you are in meditation is to invite Mother Earth Mother Earth's energy to come and co-create with you and feel all the encodements that she brings with her to start to shift your own matrix as well so that you can start to expand your mindset, expand the higher level of thoughts and choose from those higher vibration thoughts. And that is what Mother Earth is offering us, is this ability to expand So let's do that now. Let's just hold the space for the encodements or the high vibration of Mother Earth to come and interact 
with our own vibration. Feel the love of Mother Earth surrounding each and every one of you. And feel that oneness with Mother Earth. Feel yourself being cocooned and held in love. by Mother Earth. Feel that unconditional acceptance of who you are right now, of who you believe you are right now, because Mother Earth knows who you truly are beyond this identity, beyond this identity, you are the creator source. And Mother Earth knows this. Mother Earth knows that you came here on this playground of Mother Earth to have an experience as who you thought you are right now. But behind that, your true self is oozing through, is seeping through. And Mother Earth is preparing a whole nother level of playground so that more of who you truly are would be able to come out and play. No matter who you think you are, you are so much, so much more. You are being loved and supported by Mother Earth, by all our galactic brothers and sisters, some from far away, some even from different galaxies. But they are here. They are here to witness this transition that Earth is going through. And all you have to do is simply allow, allow assistance that resonate with you to come through. Allow thought forms that is so high vibration that will lock, that will be able to unlock possibilities that you have not even been exposed to yet. Those new possibilities is just waiting on the side to come through. on some level, on some level, you know you can do anything, anything you decide you can do, you can make happen, you can manifest it. But you haven't been able to make that happen yet. It's not because you cannot do it. It is just that you haven't seen that possibilities yet. 
those possibilities were not shown to you. They were not accessible to you yet. But they are now. With all the encodements that Mother Earth is giving you every time you communicate with her and all the encodements that is being streamed into the matrix of Earth from our galactic brothers and sisters from the star of our solar system, the sun, from the galactic central sun, all of those encodements are being streamed to us. And that is why you seem to have trouble sleeping. You seem to have trouble focusing on old thoughts or even remembering old history and old stories is because those encodements are coming in to break down the box that you have constructed for yourself. Do not be scared. Do not be afraid. All those things are happening and they should be happening because they are happening for you so that you can step out of the box that you have constructed for yourself. And when you're out of all that limiting beliefs, and identities and old stories, you would be able to start to allow the new possibilities to come in. And when they come in, you would be able to recognize that those actually resonate much better with me, with how I want to create the new world than what was before. So just be in your heart. Be in your heart. Focus on your heart. These codes are being streamed into your consciousness. And they come through, come through the, your head and they go down to your heart. And it is in your heart that you'll be able to pick which ones, which of the new ideas that will serve you best. And it is in your heart that you will be able to translate all of those codes and encodements so that from being just nebulous ideas, you'll be able to start to form conscious choices that will take you one step at a time. To co-create a much more magnificent future, no matter where you are, no matter how far behind or how messed up things seem to be right now, Just wait. It is all going to turn out so much better. 
than you can even imagine. So feel that. Feel that encouragement. Feel that guidance. And feel that energy of excitement, of support. that is being streamed into you night and day, all just waiting for you. To decode, to translate in your heart. So let go, let go of fear, let go of all those internal dialogue that is clouding, that is taking up bandwidth, that is distracting your mind. And when you can clear all of that out, when you just go into your heart, drop in your heart and feel the possibilities and allow yourself to be pulled in the direction that most resonates with your soul. and start to take one step and allow the next step to show up and then the next and then the next. One step at a time, that's all you need to know. That's all you need to take. It's just one step. It may seem like just one small step but actually one step can take you so much further away from your old self. You don't have to compete against anyone else. There is no one else actually who is holding you back. It is only the thoughts in your mind that is telling you that is scary, that you don't know what to do, and that you can't do that. You're not allowed to. when you can just let all of that go and be in your heart and remember who you truly are. You are an aspect of creator source. No one can tell you what to do. And no one can tell you what you cannot do. You are the only one that can make that choice. And when you make that choice, while you're in, in your heart space, and really resonate with the choice that you have made, not just because you're competing with someone else or that you just want other people to notice you. But when you make a choice that resonates with you, and it's congruent with 
every pore in your body, then you know that whatever it is that you want to do, you can do it. You can do anything. And you will be supported. And this is the promise of all the encodements that is coming to you, streaming to you, is to wake up, wake you up, to remember that you are an aspect of the creator source and you have come here on earth to create. To create the life and the experiences that resonate with your soul. And when you start to do that, no one would be able to stop you. So drop into that part of you that is authentic, that is the aspect of the creator source. Drop into that part of you and feel that part of you being pulled in a certain direction. And feel the support as you start to make choices that may be totally different from all the other choices that you have ever made. Because now you're making the choice from knowing who you truly are, from remembering why you are here on this playground. And when you're connected with the playground itself, with Mother Earth, and with all the other playmates around you, when you can feel their love, when you feel the unconditional love from your higher self, from your soul, from all of the other aspects of the creator source, you would truly remember that you can do anything. So it is time to not look outside. Don't look into the mirror. Look within. Find that light. Find the spark of divine creator source that is within you. And allow that spark to come through. Allow it to come out. Allow that part of you to not be hidden behind that skin back that you call your body because your body is simply your avatar. It is simply the vessel that you use for this 
experience. The real you lies within. Is that spark of the creator source that is within you. That is who you truly are. And when you allow that to come out, that part of you is being activated by the encodements as being streamed to you and in to you. It is not to tell you which direction to go. All these encodements is to simply allow you to remember who you truly are. That it is time. To let go of the old story. It is time to simply be with that spark of who you truly are. And allow the encodements to come in and flip and allow who you truly are to come out, to turn you inside out. So that Everyone who looks at you will be able to recognize the creator source spark that is within you. That that is what they see first. Not your body, but who you truly are. Live in a way that will make that come true so that everyone would see that spark of the divine you and notice that first and foremost. Be able to recognize the spirit, the soul that lives within that body because your soul is who you truly are. The body is simply the vessel. So allow that spark within yourself to start to grow. Grow that right now. Feel that part of you, that spark of who you truly are growing. Growing bigger and bigger. Allow it to grow. and allow that brilliance of the creator source in you to shine through. Because that spark within you is what the world needs to see. Imagine all of us, each and every one of us, deciding to grow that spark within us.
Imagine all billions and billions of human beings glowing like the sun, each one walking around on earth, glowing as bright as the sun. Darkness will have nowhere to hide. Negativity has no place. Imagine that world where everyone walks around and showing the divinity of who they truly are while they are living the life that their soul wants to live. That is what we'll be doing in the coming years. And 2020 is just the beginning. Can you feel that? Can you feel how the world is going to shift when that happens? When we are all living at the highest vibration, when we are all authentically being who we truly are, when we all remember that we can do anything we want. What a wonderful world that is going to be. when you look outside. Know that whatever the world may look right now, that that is just the beginning of the new world when everyone remembers who they are when everyone work together as one to make this playground the most magnificent, supportive, and abundant play, playground in all of universe. This is what we are working towards. This is where we are going. And that's a beautiful future. And that is how it feels like when you're already living that future. It's the brilliance within you has been turned inside out so that everyone is the magnificent God-like aspect of the creator source 
fully realized. Allow that sensation to sink in. This is where we are going and it is magnificent. And this is our gift for you this evening, is for you to feel what it feels like when we are already there. already living the fullest life that we can possibly imagine. Not just one of us or a few of us, but everyone. Everyone you talk to, everyone you know, Everyone around you is already living in that high vibration state where we all recognize one another as different aspects of ourselves. And we co-create. Allow that feeling to touch your heart, to leave a trace, to leave an imprint, and let that be your guide so that you can find your way to shift into this reality where everyone is already knowing that we are all aspects of the creative source co-creating and playing. On this playground called Earth, on one level and on so many other playgrounds in different dimensions, all aspects of ourselves co-creating and making magnificent tapestries. So thank you, thank you, thank you everybody for joining me this evening. Thank you for co-creating and continue to trust, to trust your own heart, to follow what it is that is already within your own heart. Because on some level, your heart knows what is the next step. Thank you for this co-creation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you.